moment has come, and I'm very thankful that Vice President Biden, now President-elect Biden, has given us this moment. I'm sorry for the tears. I'm going to cry in the altar. But to cry because there's so many women out there who made this happen, so many stealing souls of women who just didn't care what they were called or how they looked, but they went out there and they kept moving the ball. We did it. And we did it because there were so many men who also believed in us, who carried us forward, who didn't mind that we sat next to them. And I am just a grateful woman this morning, a grateful American, that I can go to my grave one day and say, God, we got the first black man, we got the first woman of Asian descent, and we have made this country what it said it would always be, a country for all of us. And indeed, it is a country for all of us. But this is a country that now has to go back to work. So I'm going to dry my tears and get ready to work. I'm feeling the same thing. I'm feeling the same thing. I am very grateful as an American. I, I am very grateful having a black vice president. We had our first president, uh, President Obama. I supported him also. And today I am hopeful that, uh, very hopeful that uh, President-elect Joe Biden will um, heal the division of this country. The immigrants that are the minorities, uh, as minorities, we are hoping, we are counting on you. I'm terrible too. <laughs> the uh, tears of joy, of course. Yes, we will celebrate. To solve the problems of this country, we we need solutions that fit everyone. Not Bruce Lee, Fred. This is my first day watching the news of this week after the election. I don't really watch news. I rather um, do my vlogs, <laughs> my YT vlogs. But today, while well, I'm having my coffee, um. I'm watching the people who are rejoicing. There are friends on the other side that cares about this country like us. There are people who voted for you. There are people who care. They don't want partisan solutions. They want solutions. And yes, we can do it together. That's the person I'm going to be tomorrow. But tonight I'm going to celebrate Chris Christie, my friend. Heal the division of this country. Heal the world. We are one. What's that? Song, I forgot the title. Face TV Wonder, Heal the World. Yes, Heal the World and Heal the Division of this Country. We're counting on you, uh, newly elect Joe Biden, the 46th President of the United States. I'm praying for all the immigrants, for all who are affected by the borders. You move, you did a move, a wrong move. Uh, Mr. Trump doing that. Maybe if you did not do that, you would have win again. You know, that's just my opinion. that so many millions of Americans have voted for that vision. And now, the work of making that vision is real. It's a task, the task of our time. Folks, and this And Joe's gonna make a great first lady. I'm so proud of her. Oh. Well, I'll have the honor of serving with a fantastic vice president who you just heard from Kamala Harris. Who makes history as the first woman, first black woman, the first woman from the first 
And we're reminded tonight of those who fought so hard for so many years to make this happen. But once again, America's bent the arc of the moral universe more toward justice. Kamala, Doug, like it or not, your family, you become an honorary Biden, there's no way out. So dark. Can you turn on your lamp there? And work the polls in the middle of this pandemic. Local elected officials, you deserve a special thanks from the entire nation. And to my campaign team and all the volunteers and all who gave so much of themselves to make this moment possible, I owe you. I owe you. I owe you everything. And all those who supported us, I'm proud of the campaign we built and ran. I'm proud of the coalition we put together, the broadest and most diverse coalition of independents, progressives, moderates, conservatives, young, old, urban, suburban, rural, gay, straight, transgender, white, Latino, Asian, Native American. I mean it, especially in those moments. And especially those moments where this campaign was at its lowest ebb, the African-American community stood up again for me. Yay. I said at the outset, I wanted to represent this campaign to represent and look like America. We've done that. Now that's what want the administration to look like and act like. For all those of you, who voted for President Trump. I understand the disappointment tonight. I've lost a couple times myself, but now let's give each other a chance. Yes. It's yes. Time to put away the harsh rhetoric, lower the temperature, see each other again, listen to each other again. Opponents as our enemies. They are not our enemies, they are Americans. They're Americans. Correct. Yay. The Bible tells us for everything there is a season, a time to build, a time to reap, and a time to sow, and a time to heal. Yes. This is a time to heal in America. Yes. Now that this campaign is over, what is the will of the people? What is our mandate? I believe it's this. America is called the end, Delaware? To marshal the forces right? of decency, the forces of fairness, to marshal the forces of science, and the forces of hope in the great battles of our time. The battle of control of the virus, the battle of build prosperity, the battle to secure your family's health care. The battle to achieve racial justice and root out systemic racism in this country. And the battle to save our planet by getting climate under control. The battle to restore decency, defend democracy, and give everybody in this country a fair shot. Folks, our work begins with getting COVID under control. We cannot repair the economy, restore our vitality, or relish life's most precious moments, hugging our grandchildren, our children, our birthdays, weddings, graduations, all the moments that matter most to us until we get it under control. On Monday, I will name a group of leading scientists and experts as transition advisors to help take the Biden-Harris COVID plan and convert it into an action blueprint that will start on January the 20th, 2021. That plan will be built on bedrock science. It will be constructed out of compassion, empathy, and concern. I will spare no effort, none, or any commitment to turn around this pandemic. Folks, I'm a proud Democrat. But I will govern as an American president. I'll work as hard for those who didn't vote for me as those who did. Let this grim era of demonization 
in America begin to end here and now. Bury you on the breath of dawn and make you just shine like the sun and hold you in the palm of his hand. Amen. And now together, on eagle's wings, we embark on the work that God and his head called upon us to do with full hearts and steady hands, with faith in America and in each other, with love of country, a thirst for justice. Let us be the nation that we know we can be, a nation united, a nation strengthened, a nation healed. The United States of America, ladies and gentlemen, there's never, never been anything we've tried and not been able to do. This is a country of possibilities. There you see yes. the president-elect and the vice president-elect getting ready for a fireworks show here in Rome. stress Brett has been on words like empathy when they walked out the screens to the left and right of them said the people have chosen empathy uh kamala harris talking about the fact that she says joe biden has a oh. big heart and that he just helped him get on his back right he is um greeting oh. some of the kamala harris yeah in there on the stage you know it, uh, obviously a, a very excited kamala harris and joe biden but he talked about lowering yeah. the temperature in the country, and I thought it was interesting. You just touched on it, Brett. Oh. He said, "We're not a red, not red states, not blue states. United States of America." A clear echo of the words of President Obama when he gave that.